As summer is winding down, it is time to start Donkey Kong Country 2, Diddy Kong's Quest. Hello everybody, welcome to this game in this, the final days of the 16-bit summer. I am just so overwhelmed right now because this game, this game is, uh, it is a beast. It is a beast. Yeah, that's my original file. It's not looking too good, but whatever. Let, let's go with slot three. Why not? Yeah, one player. Why not? So the gimmick with this game, Donkey Kong was kidnapped. So it's up to Diddy and Dixie to save him. We're starting off with Gangplank Galleon. Oh, this is a world. That's right. Okay, so yeah, we're going to get through this world and then uh, do... Wait. I, I, I had my whole speech ready. Like, one world per video, and I'm still going to try and like 100%, well not 100%, but just do every level. So yeah, this is going to be tough for me. Okay, apparently B is the same as select. All right, so let me just get used to the controls again. Okay, so cartwheel. All right, we're good. So yeah, um, not too familiar with Donkey Kong Country. Hmm, I've kidnapped that lumbering fool, Donkey Kong, and you will never see him again. Ar har har, Captain K. Rule. I should also probably try to sink this. One, two, one, two. That was probably the worst ever, like trying to sync it with the pause sound. All right, fine. One, but two, but three, but. Okay. Onward we go. We have a Donkey Kong to save. Hello, Dixie. All right, so I'm off to a pretty amazing start, like just. Wow. I need to be careful because next hit, I'm dead. My god, this game. <laughs> I am just not filled with the most confidence right now. Also, how do I pick up my partner? Oh, okay, like that. And then, okay, yeah. A. So then that means I can... There we go. Alright, alright. I'm remembering basic things about this game that I can't beat because it's very hard. Though I do find it funny that some people... Oh yeah, the star barrels are checkpoints. But some people consider Donkey Kong Country 1 harder than... Uh... Wait... Oh, okay. I'm, I'm, I have a list that tells me, like, where most of the secrets are, so... Yeah. But, yeah, there's some people that feel Donkey Kong Country 1 is harder than this game. And then there's some people that feel that this game is the hardest. And then there's others that feel 3 is the hardest of the trilogy. I've only ever played... Okay, well, that was easy. Um, I've only ever played 1 and 2. I never got far in one and two. Well, you saw my save file right there. So, yeah, I don't really have any, like, major thoughts. How do I open this? Oh, like that. Okay. How do I do the Rambi charge? Oh, okay, like that. I can't believe I remember your name, Rambi. Hmm. Okay, a banana arrow pointing left after a big drop. Oh, maybe right here. I'm sorry. Um. Oh, I have to use the super charge. I don't know what that is. Oh. Hold down A, and there we go. Okay. I should probably not focus on trying to get all the secrets at once because that's kind of what caused me to fail badly during uh, 
Sonic 3 and Knuckles, but eh, it doesn't seem to be too bad. Though I guess maybe I should like take a moment to pause before every level and then try to go through it and find the secret. Plus it won't be the end of the world if I have to like redo a level. Oh my god, I actually have a net gain of lives. And we can't take Rambi beyond here anyway. No, no, no. Okay. <laughs> well, that happened. And, ooh, I'm actually getting lives. Cool. And <laughs> main brace mayhem. Let us go. So there's actually three bonuses in this one. So, uh, ooh boy, this is gonna be tough. And again, it won't matter if I have to go back. Wait, how do I do the helicopter? No. There we go. Okay. And then I can also do that to run. All right. Let's do this. And there we go. And yeah, you need to do all the bonus levels to find... Or to, like access all of the to access all of the uh hidden levels let's try that again shall we unless it doesn't come back oh i can access it okay that's actually very nice Okay, wait, this is quicker, and then it uh, do, all right, nope, need to hold both at the same time, and then go up. I remember that basic thing. Come on. But yeah, you need all these, I believe they're called Crim Coins to unlock all the lost levels, so, yeah, this is gonna be a thing. All right, just had to check where the next one is. We'll be getting there soon enough. For now, I can just focus on the level. Also, I will admit this game has one of my least favorite mechanics, which is the ability to save being locked behind a consumable. That is just very bad game design, and why would you do that? Especially since that wasn't present in the first Donkey Kong. They just added it to this one. And then I guess when people were complaining, they were like, okay, fine. In Donkey Kong Country 3, we won't have that. Okay, apparently this is not the right way to go. Also, why would you ever use anybody other than Dixie for this game? I say that like there's like 800 characters in this game. It's only her and Diddy. But I mean, that helicopter spin is very useful. My... God, the physics, I am just so not used to them. Okay. What's up here? Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna leave that guy down there to his own devices. Well, it's like they want me to drop down here. No, no. But I think Diddy Kong is stronger, me thinks? Could be wrong. Wait. I want this for live purposes okay should not have gone out of my way for that plus you know diddy has that sweet cartwheel nope must keep this for right there and there we go to a bonus destroy them all i can do that no i can't Oh, wait, no, if I just grab this... Wait, what happened? Oh, I screwed up and then I immediately got hit. It's fine, it's fine, we can bounce back from this. I will do this, darn it.
Oh, the box only destroys one. That's all right, we can get him in a line and do a little of that. Okay, no. Barrel, help me out here. Okay, one left. Oh, there it is. Okay, cool. All right. So now we're good to go just a little longer into the level. So I believe, yeah, there's the next bonus. So I think I have to use this. It's gonna take me a minute to get used to these controls. Oh, there we go. Collect the stars, I can do that. Okay, just be a little quick about this. Actually, this might be the... There are a lot of stars here. Oh, I thought one way was quicker than the other. I guess that's just me being used to Mario versus Donkey Kong then. I was addicted to that game for so long. Yeah, I might not have this. Nope. There we go. Wow, that was close. All right, so now all I have to do is just beat the level. God, I hate the fact that you have to save. Like, every time I get one of these coins, it's like I just get more upset with the fact that saving requires you to pay. So bad. Hey, we're done with that. Let's go to the Monkey Museum. Why not? Come and say hello to your old grandpappy, Cranky. I'm back by popular demand, boo, to offer you my wealth of game playing wisdom for this unnecessary sequel. <laughs> what do you want this time? Oh, yeah, and he'll tell you, like, you know, here's where all the secrets are, but I'm not about to give you my hard on hard earned tokens. I need them to save. You are not that important, Cranky. Ooh, Gangplank Galley is up next. Oh, they, do they actually tell? Oh no, I just got the DK coin there. I, those aren't required for the lost levels, but they are required for 100%. Like I said, I'm not here for 100%. I'm just here for all the levels. But all right, gang, play, galley, let's go. So apparently the secrets here are pretty easy to find, like right there. Find the token. Um. Oh, I'm supposed to throw them at you? No, so close. It's fine, it's fine. I am so glad you get infinite tries at these. That is actually very nice. I don't know if that was also the case in uh, Donkey Kong Country 1. Like I said, I am not the most familiar with these games. But I do find them to be interesting. I mean, like, I'm not the biggest Donkey Kong fan in the world. I know this is probably heresy to say, but, uh... I prefer Donkey Kong 64 over any 2D Donkey Kong. And there goes half of the people even watching this video. Because I know Donkey Kong 64 has a bad uh, reputation. But I like it. I mean, I, I like Collect-a-thon uh, 3D platformers. They're fun to me. That's why one of my favorite games for the PS1 is freaking Bugs Bunny Lost in Time. Come on. There we go. Alright. I also forgot how to switch the order of them. I'm pressing buttons. Yeah, I really don't know how to switch their order around. Because I know you can do that. 
Okay, it's select. That took me way too long to figure out. But all right, we're good to go. We're good to go. You will die. There we go. I got a coin that I can spend for saving. At least saving only requires like two coins. But that's still two coins too many, in my opinion. Oh, no. Well, that's my first death. I'm not doing the donation thing for this game because it's hard and I've never come anywhere close to beating this as I did with Sonic 3 and um, Mario 3. But I might still keep track of the deaths just to see how I did. You know, just to compare me of today to me of yesteryear. I'm invincible. I did not know this was a thing. Maybe I did know and I just forgot. That's always a possibility. And I think I want to, ooh, life. Why are lives balloons anyway? That is a weird design choice to me. Yeah, whatever, okay, find the token. Who knows, like maybe playing through this game now will sort of give me a uh, better appreciation for it. Plus, I guess it didn't really help that I never played the original Donkey Kong on the Super Nintendo. I only had it on Game Boy Advance, I believe was the version I had. Oh, no. No. So do I keep the bonus thing or what? I don't know. Only one way to find out. Ah, crap. No! Well, there was the last Kong letter. I'm sorry, I just had to go out of my way to get that life. I will probably need them going forward. No, I don't have a way to deal with you now. Okay, so her helicopter spin does not hurt the big guys. This is a tough pickle indeed. And I'm only doing this because I'm not 100% sure if like me dying after the bonus allowed me to keep the... Hey, you know what? Screw it. Let's just go to the end that took all of my concentration <laughs> all right well we got Kong College right there Let's go to school then, why not? Hello dearies, I'm Mrs. Wrinkly Kong, headmistress here at Kong College. Available to teach courses on how to play this game. Why are you further into the game then? You should be right there at the beginning. Whatever, you just pop in when you want to save your game and... Oh. Wait, you don't have to you know, save? I thought saving cost. Okay, I guess I was incorrect. Huh, oh, and it did save my uh, bonus, so that's good. Oh, no, yep, okay, I guess the first time is free, and then it's like, okay, now your ass gotta pay. Screw you. Hey, college always taking the money of poor people, my god. My god. Anyway, Lockjaw's Locker. All right, so this one? This bonus might be a little tough for me to find, but thankfully there's only one in this level, so it shouldn't be too bad. Also, I should probably grab Dixie. I'm gonna need her. I am so glad that monkeys are capable of breathing underwater indefinitely. That's a trait of monkeys that not too many people know about. Are you kidding me, yo? Oh wait, am I doing the thing again where it's like I'm confusing like what is a monkey and what is like supposed to be a chimp or 
or like wait I, I i forgot what the little like distinction is between like monkeys gorillas chimpanzees or like which ones are like part of one family and which are supposed to be like different and then you have apes and i i yeah i, I don't know my monkey terminology as well as i should because to me all of them are monkeys like orangutans chimpanzees I just use that blanket term for all of them. Hello, on guard. I can't believe I remember these animals' names. I also don't know where to go. Oh, A. That's right. So then... Or do I just keep going up first? We gotta do the super step. There we go to just go through there. All right, find the token. So far, I'm actually kind of shocked at how well things are going, but to be fair, I'm still in the first world. Of course, things aren't gonna be hard yet. I don't know where to go, I don't know where to go. Some tells me I should just go like, as like out of the way as possible. Or not? Come on, token, where are you at? Oh, I see it. I seize it. I seize it! I gots it. Alright. And that's the only bonus here, so now I can just focus on beating the level. Okay, so um, that was not the best idea. You know what? I don't need him. I, I kind of need him, actually. Unguard, please. Come back to me. Oh, well, you can't come past here anyway. Alright, well, we got a checkpoint right there. Thank you. Wow. Do I even have any of the letters? Oh, I'm missing an O. Um, I think I'm doing decent enough on lives. I don't really know how to check, if you can check, so... I probably should look at the manual, but... Oh, wait, no. Operations Guide. In retrospect, I really should have looked at this from the get-go, but I'm so used to, like, the newer virtual consoles where it's specifically called, like, the manual. So, yeah, Operations, whatever this was called. Operations Guide. There we go. Okay. All right. All right. Feeling a little bit better about this now. Okay. I now know how to play the game. Doesn't mean I'll be able to use that knowledge to play well, but at least I know how to play. Water physics, ain't they grand? All right, well, at least I'm back here. Oh God, that was scary. All righty. I don't even know why I went out of my way to get the G. Whatever, just go with the flow. Get it? Cause water. All right. I apologize for everything. Ooh. Well, that's nice to have. And I mean, I kind of already know unguard can't come right there, but whatever. Oh wait, was it? Does that mean there was another unguard I could have gotten? Aw. Well, anyway, after Lockjaw's locker, we have Swanky's bonus bonanza. Give them a big hand, folks. Good evening, I'm Swanky Kong, and you're tonight's contestants on my bonanza. It's easy to play. Just pick a game and you're away. I am not giving you my hard-earned money, so Swanky Swag. What is your name? Well, I mean, you are pretty stinky, and your attitude is kind of wonky, but your name is Swanky. So next one. What's the first enemy that you see in the game? I don't know these enemy names. Uh, I think it was a furry rat. Okay. What's the name of this area of the island? <laughs> Gangplank Galleon. Hey, wasn't this the final area of the first game? Yeah, whatever. Okay. And yeah, I'm not giving you money. See you next week. But it's only going to take me a week to beat this. Hopefully. Anyway, top sale trouble. Let's go. All right. Hello, snake friend. I forgot your name, but at least with you, I can 
do a super jump? Oh, okay, yeah, that is actually a super jump. Alright, let's go. Just killing everything in my path. I'm very nervous, though. And I guess that hook's there just in case I lose my friend. Nope. Okay. Wait, am I going the right way? Oh, I guess I was. Destroy them all. All right, we're just enemy hopping. I'm used to this. Not the hardest gameplay mechanic, and there we go. All right, and I got a ways to go before the next bonus area in here, so we're good to go for a bit. Can I just make that without, eh, I'll go ahead and super jump. That was not good. Oh. Yeah, the super jump, I feel I'm not executing properly. But at least I'm not dead yet. And, and like, I keep grappling with the idea of like, wow, like this, this first world is going by so well for me. Maybe I should do the donation incentive thing. And then I have to remind myself, this is the first world. The game is going to get harder. Oh dear God, is it going to get harder? Do not let it trick you. And I mean, it's obviously showing like how easy this game, is, well, this first world is when I can't freaking make it up here. There we go, finally. Okay. Progress. Amazing. Please die. Thank you. And no more snake friend. But it's fine. We're good. I don't know where to go from here. I just had to check. You are annoying. I'm just gonna go ahead and jump over you, make it over here. Oh no. Hmm. This is scary. Ah, crap. And I lost my crutch. Which is Dixie's helicopter spin. <laughs> You're gonna see me use that for like everything. Is that a bonus barrel? It looks like it. I feel like that was not the correct way. <laughs> Cause that was the blindest of blind jumps, but whatever. All right, find the token. No, 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 no. You have no time. I was holding up there, and eh, whatever. I really feel this is not the correct way. <laughs> oh, of course, I can hold run to climb faster, too. I feel bad for not realizing that. Wow. Okay. I think I go this way then. You don't want to land on the bees. They're all over your eyes. Your eyes. Okay, no. This was not the time for a Nicolas Cage reference. Quite frankly, it's almost never the time for a Nicolas Cage reference. And no, he's a decent actor. I liked Con Air. Seriously, I unironically like Con Air. 
It's a good movie. Well, at least we're done with here. I feel I am just going through this really slowly, though. Never up next, Funky's Flight 2. Okay. I mean, I think all this does is take you back to previous worlds. Hey, looking good, dudes. I'm fucking the main monkey. Boo. And my new Funky's Flights can take you anywhere on Crocodile Owl, provided you already have checked it out, of course. Cruise on over to the barrel, man, and ride the skies. No. This isn't even an airport. It's freaking ghetto. Man, there's ghetto airports. Anyway, Crow's Nest, first boss of the game. I forgot how to fight you. I think I want to avoid those eggs. Do I really want to be up here? No, I don't. Okay. Oh, but wait, I think I... Okay, yeah, I jump on the eggs and throw them at them. All right, fair enough. I can do this. You're not hard. Okay, you might be a little hard. Well, at least those coins... Wait. Those coins constantly respawn. I can grind coins here. Which is good for saving. It's also really lame that this game follows the, yeah, save your coins and level progress, but yeah, don't save your life count because why would we ever do that in a video game? God, I hate it when games would do that. Crash one, you are not innocent here, nor are you Rayman. Okay. That was... Excellent aim right there. Oh god, no. There we go. Die, you freaking crow. You're not even a crow, you're a buzzard. Nobody likes you. Ah, oh, crap. Oh, because it was still rolling around. All right. Who? Suddenly, the idea I had where you're like, you know what? Maybe I would or should do the donation incentive thing here. It's like, yeah, yeah. No, I am being brought back to reality right now. Oh, my God. Oh, that's it? Okay, I thought it was gonna be five hits. Especially when he did those last two squawks, I was like, okay, it's about to get real again, and oh, we're done. Oh, and I can always go back there if I want to. All right, but I don't want to. So, that was pretty decent for a first part, I, I guess, I don't know. Anyway, next time, we're gonna be going to Crocodile Cauldron. See you all then, goodbye. Now that I think about it, it probably would be best if I just go ahead and select it now. There might be, nope, no, no call in college right here. All right, well, thankfully we Virtual Console has suspend points. So yeah, next time we do this area, goodbye.